it's ready so and the squishy is going to be squishing if you have a longer one this one's kind of a shorter one for me so This is a very tight squeeze, just so you know. And it looks like there's too many shims in there, so I'm going to pull some of them out. Pull this one out. And let's run it through. Because the machine will say, nope, nope, too much. And that it doesn't like either. Okay, so let's pull more out of there. It's saying too many shims in there. Let's try with no shims. No, it's not working. It. Okay. So, I'm going to try opening it up and putting one of my regular plates on top. Let's see if that will do it. Yeah, that seems to be going through much better. So, I just put a plate in there instead of the lid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to sneeze. And I'll do it back. Okay. Let's see what we got. So, here was my sandwich. See how I put my plate on the top instead of this one? This one seems to be too thick. So my machine did not like that. So I put this one instead. So let's see if it worked. So I guess you do need the knock knock sheet. Okay, so. Let's see what we got here. And it did foil my embossing folder a little bit, but it's not gonna harm as much. We ink it up anyways all the time, so. So here's what we got. Here's the review of my little birds. So there's that right there. So it does seem to be too thick. I'm going to try, since we tried it a few times and then moved it a little bit, I'm going to try it one more time on the wooden one, see if it'll work differently. Like I said, this is the first time I'm trying, so I did em foil my um, embossing folder a little bit. So let's try it with a different one, see if it will work better. So, I embossed. this already and I think I already moved it hope not no I think it's still laying in there so we're gonna put this foil towards the paper so we're gonna put so we're gonna put it on here just like that. Put a sheet on there to cover it up in case it foils anywhere. Then put the, the embossing folder and then just a clear plate. So that's going to be our sandwich. We're going to close it for now so it can heat. But then we're going to reopen it. This is the set the wooden piece came from. It came with the little um, dead cuts also in there. Let's see what we get. So I guess I've learned that you cannot have this top layer on there. So let's close it for now and pull it out. Now we're gonna open that up and then put it in here. And now we're going to run it through the machine, just like that. It is quite tight. So I don't know if the knock-knock is any better. 
than the regular ones. Let's see what we get. Let's get that out of there. Didn't foil much, just a little bit on the corner there. So do be expecting that I will be foiling your little mush um, embossing folders. It doesn't harm them in any way, really. Okay, so you ready for the reveal? Let's see what we got. Oh, that's so pretty. Let me trim it a little bit and I'll show you. Trim this extra on here. So you can see what we got. Okay. So, just grabbing a white piece of paper to show you. Here's what it did. It embossed the whole thing right there. Do you see it? So you can use your embossing folders now to foil with, just like that. And then you can do either fall themes or you can do just wooden with animals. Oh, that is so pretty. And it's all sparkly. And this kind of paper is not always what you can find. But you have all these embossing folders. Go ahead and use them. Look at that. You did a great job. So our sandwich, one more time. What we did, we embossed our paper, kept it in the embossing folder, just like that. So after it was embossed, like that. We kept it in here. Then we put the foil right on top. You put the foil towards the paper. Remember that you, when you hold your embossing folder with the paper inside, you need to be able to see because that see the beautiful color on top. If you're seeing the silver, you got it the wrong way. So make sure it is facing your paper. So when you lift it up, it's next to the paper, and you got the pretty side up. Then turn it upside down like this, right onto your this open surface right here like on there put the whole thing on here and then put your knock knock in the embossing mat basically put your embossing mat right on top and then just one of your regular plastic plates that you use and just roll it and this is what you get got this gold beautiful sheet right there and it is plenty of pressure to get everything there's barely any sparks of silver missing almost nowhere at all they're so tiny you might yeah right there you can see just a few if I tilt it this way but in reality when you look at it you can't really see it so I hope you learned a new method of using. You can also use your stencils in the same way. Instead of your embossing folder, just use your stencil. I might do another video and show you, but basically the same thing. You put your if you have a metal stencil or actually it doesn't matter, but if you have a metal one, it's better so it can heat then it's going to transfer better. But you can even use your plastic ones. Same thing, you're just using your embossing mat so that it, the paper gets indented in there and the foiling process happens. So, thank you for watching. I'm so excited how this turned out. So pretty. So happy with it. So beautiful. So, so glad. So, I'm glad I could show you. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Press the button subscribe at the bottom and 
visit lilyofthevel77.etsy.com for my handmade cards. I might make a video with this foiled uh, sheet and some other stuff that I did today. So I might show you those and um, that might be in the next videos. And I'll try to put a link to the words how I did it so you can also see that one. And don't, thank you for watching. And remember, you can buy all of these great handmade cards made by me. I don't buy them or get them from anybody else. I make them all myself. I get ideas from others. Sometimes look on Pinterest, get ideas, and then kind of make it my own. That's how usually it happens. So thank you very much for being with me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.